Welcome back to this week's Wealthologist Weekly, where every week we like to break down the world of financial planning and wealth management in ways that are hopefully easy to understand and, and kind of fun to watch. I'm Chris Hobart, the Wealthologist, and today we got to talk about what in the world is going on with the market right now. In fact, we're going to dive into a topic that's really kind of making the headlines and shaking the markets, and it's the sharp rise in the Japanese yen against the U.S. dollar and then what it means for you as an investor or where there's opportunity. So uh, real quick, let's start with the basics. Uh, you know, you might have heard that the Japanese yen is skyrocketing against the U.S. dollar. But why does this matter? And how is it impacting the stock market? Well, it's all connected to something called the yen carry trade. Now, we can all say that again real slow together, the yen carry trade. Now, I know this sounds fancy, but stick with me. It's actually a lot more simple than it seems. Uh, so here's how the yen carry trade works. Uh, traders borrow Japanese yen at super low interest rates. Now, why would they do that? Well, because borrowing costs in Japan have been low for a long time. It's kind of like getting a, a loan right now at just a crazy good rate. Now, they convert that yen into U.S. dollars and use those dollars to buy U.S. stocks. Now, it sounds like a smart move, right? Well, it was until right now, this week in particular. The Bank of Japan, BOJ, decided to raise interest rates, which means borrowing yen isn't as cheap as it was just a short while ago. The yen has also gotten stronger against the dollar, which is a big problem for these traders. Not only do they have to pay more interest on their loans, but they're also facing huge losses because the yen they borrowed is now worth a lot more than the dollars that they hold. Now, what's happening next? Well, these traders are scrambling to sell their U.S. stocks simply to raise dollars to convert them back to yen and pay off their loans. This is causing a massive sell-off in the stock market, leading to even more declines in the short term. But here's the thing. This kind of short-term crisis and panic can actually be great news for investors like us. As the market reacts to these sudden changes, we often see high quality U.S. stocks being sold at bigger and bigger discounts. Now, you know what that means, right? Opportunity. When everyone else is panicking, it's our chance to stay calm, understand what's going on, do the research, and take advantage of these temporary mispricings. It's how we can potentially get richer even when the market looks like it's in turmoil. So, you're probably wondering, what should you do? Well, keep an eye on the markets. Don't let fear drive your decisions. Instead, look for those high-quality stocks that are now available at a discount and consider whether they fit into your long-term financial plan. Remember, the key to successful investing isn't just about timing the market. It's about time in the market. And staying patient and focused on your goals is how you build wealth over the long term even when the short term looks and feels really rocky. Now, before we wrap up, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to the Wealthologist Weekly so you will never miss another episode. We're here every week to help you navigate the world of finance with confidence. So thanks again for watching. And remember, keep calm, stay informed, and invest wisely. Reach out if you have any additional questions. We'll see you next week.